love the smell after it rains. It's this musty, earthy smell. But what the heck is it? Petrichor is the smell of dust after rain. It's a combination of plant oils, bacteria, and ozone. But this doesn't tell the whole story. Petrichor smells, well, dusty. So how does the smell get from the ground to our noses? A recent study from researchers at MIT suggests an aerosol effect is a main cause of the smell of dust after a light rain. We all know the smell. On a summer day when the air has been stale and hot for days and suddenly a summer shower provides some relief, when we venture out to greet the world anew we're met with one of the most unique smells on the planet. It's a smell as old as time itself, but it went without a name for a surprisingly long time. Petrichor was coined by two scientists, Isabel Joy Bayer and R.G. Thomas of Australia Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization in 1964. The word uses Greek terms, petra meaning stone, and ichor meaning the special substance that flows in the veins of gods. But the mechanism behind petrichor was a bit of a mystery until MIT scientists captured slow motion images of falling water drops. The videos revealed that the raindrops trap air in bubbles. When they hit the ground, the bubbles capture small molecules from the soil. These molecules bubble up to the surface and release aerosols, not unlike the bubbles in a glass of champagne. Capturing this common occurrence took a little while. The scientists performed over 600 experiments, dropping water over 28 different surfaces, 12 artificial surfaces, and 16 soil samples. To recreate the different types of rainfall, light and heavy, and everything in between, they varied the height. The higher the drop, the faster it fell. They found a kind of Goldilocks effect. The most aerosols were produced when the porous surface wasn't too wet or too dry, and when the rain wasn't too fast or too slow. If the rain falls too fast, there's not enough time for the bubbles to form. All right, so that's how the smell gets into the air, but what is the smell made up of? Previous studies suggest that the smell comes from oil given off by plants during dry periods that falls onto clay or dirt. Speaking of dirt, another part of petrichor comes from bacteria from the genus Actomycetes, the same bacteria that are responsible for a recent break in antibiotics. When these bacteria die, they release an organic compound called geosmin, which comes from the Greek earth smell. This is the damp, musty, earthy smell after a storm. Human noses are extremely sensitive to this compound. We can sniff it out in just five parts per trillion. It's a harmless chemical. While we love it outside, it can reduce the quality of drinking water and wine. The smell of storms comes from ozone, a word which also has its roots in Greek for smell. While ground level ozone is an icky, harmful smog, atmospheric ozone helps block some of the sun's most damaging rays. Storm related ozone is created when an electrical charge splits atmospheric nitrogen and oxygen molecules into separate atoms. A few chemical reactions later and the oxygen reorganizes itself. Most atmospheric oxygen is made up of two atoms, the typical O2, yet during the storm the reorganized oxygen forms O3. This O3 is pushed down from the atmosphere by downdrafts allowing us to sniff this very stormy scent. Scientists still haven't found out a way to bottle petrichor, unfortunately. They've tried. I mean how many candles and laundry detergents have names like spring rain and they smell nothing like it. Most of these artificial scents haven't come close because petrichor core is so complex and some compounds exist only in small traces that can't even be detected by some machines. So do you love the smell of rain? Is it your favorite smell on the planet like it is mine? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to keep coming back to D News for more science every day.